All right, this is part of the Let's Beat the Dead Horse series of how to add vectors by sliding on a plane. These are 2D vectors. I'm going to put some in here. There's a vector. There's a vector. And there's a vector. Remember, you slide them tip to tail, but you got to get their point of concurrency. Here's the trick. For, civil, for working within SketchUp, because they're going to break up when they connect, you want to right-click and make everything, I'm sorry, edit, make every individual one a group. So I'm going to take that and make it a group. I'm going to take this one and make it a group. And you'll see potentially in AutoCAD, that's got some potential there, especially if you can finally get the um, arrowheads to stick with things. Still looking for the automatic line terminator, kind of amazed that it's not here. So of course these two vectors need to be moved to their point of concurrency. So I'm going to start with this one. The other trick within um, SketchUp is to move in things and then erase them. Don't just move them. So I'm going to grab that there. I've left clicked. I've grabbed my thing. I grab the move command. I go here. And then in this program you notice here it's going to tend to, I'm holding the control, I can hold right there, at, it's, it's holding, it's, right, so I can hold, hold the shift and it's going to grab parallel to edge. And now if I go to here over the top, you see right away it just grabbed and moved that to the right spot. That's kind of scary good. Now AutoCAD extension looks very similar, right away you get rid of that. And if you remember here, this one now can be moved back here but then immediately right up so what do you do you grab you left click this is a case that you don't need to copy and move you can just go ahead and do that so now you've got those two vectors together right away you go through here grab to your endpoint and now you can make this its own group and if you wanted you could actually make it it's another you can include these if you want to visually do it but we're going to edit and now make this the group now again, remember that was a group and this was a group, so you're going to slide these two to their point of concurrency. You do that, of course, by left clicking, left clicking. In this case, you're going to hold the control key to slide along. You see how it finds that edge? You hold the shift key down. You go back to here and re see how it finds that constraint point? It just did the move for you. So that skips a little bit, and now, of course, you're going to need to add that vector. So you're going to take that left click, left click grab it to the end point. There's no, these are kind of all implied and you can do some implied snaps in AutoCAD as well. Now you've got in essence what becomes your final resultant right there. So that's a companion piece to doing it in AutoCAD uh, with extension snaps. What I'm going to do right here, I'm going to edit, make a group. This idea of grouping becomes incredibly important. Those of you who are in my intro class, that's what you'll be doing for adding vectors. Um, those who are dealing in, in um, AutoCAD, you're going to probably want to stick with a lot of the basic tools, but start to learn to use those extension uh, if you can master it. But I think you may see it might be a little bit easier just to draft. I'm going to go edit, cut. So that becomes my resultant of the three forces I just did. Of course, that force right has a magnitude and a direction. It's always a good idea in the end to put a little circle out there. And what's great about, or a little... Um, or a little arrowhead. What's great about that circle, if you because this is a group, it doesn't cut. It doesn't automatically uh, cut the face. So we basically those three vectors added up to that. Of course, many of you eventually will realize that if that is a force vector, then the radial vector is going to turn out to be. I'm going to grab this. It is going to be hit to control. The moment actually turns out to be the area that and right away that area because you're in SketchUp just saying I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around a little bit ah now we see that some of the plain stuff gets a little odd so if we don't have a face in SketchUp that could get a little weird but all that said that's the way you add vectors in SketchUp